Hey guys, uh, I've been looking on the internet a lot lately, and uh, I've been seeing a lot of hate for um, the Sentry Arms uh, Red Army Standard 47, the RAS 47, and um, it's funny as hell because I've owned one now for a year and some change. I've, I've, I don't know the exact uh, day I got this. It was definitely last year. But, um, I don't, I don't know. I guess it's just one of those Sentry Arms hit or miss type ordeals because, uh, my rifle has not malfunctioned once since I've had it. And all I do is I clean the ever living shit out of it. Like I'll bring it up to my shower, clean it, warm, soapy water, you know, fucking Marine Corps special, if you want to call it that. And I lubricate it with Royal Purple, uh, 5W20 motor oil. And, um... Yeah, there is some kind of weird ass wear marks and stuff like that, but the gun fires accurately and whatnot. And here it is, a little, little baby. And you can see from yeah, I do a a lot of shooting with this. I can't tell you any specifics on how many rounds I fired through it, but um, it's it's been a lot, like a lot, at least two thousand. And um, yeah, it's just really fucking weird how like everyone and their grandmother's like oh RS 47 sucks and all this other shit and I'm just like oh fuck well I trust this rifle with my fucking life so um I'm gonna rip apart the bolt and everything for you guys so you can see what's what the weird wear marks I'm talking about are over there. okay so Take apart the bolt for you. I mean, this isn't really weird wear marks or anything. Like, nothing's, like, flattened out or nothing like that. That's just wear marks. Um, you have wear marks here. No gouges on this bolt. Come on, bitch, focus. You don't want to focus? Okay, whatever. Yeah, there's no gouges or anything. It's just, you know, typical wear marks. The only ammo I run through this is uh, the tool ammo or tool ammo, whatever people want to call it. Um, yeah, there's no really crazy wear marks on this bolt. And uh, the last time I brought this firing uh, to a range, I'm sorry, um, I went up to the, the gunsmith and Rob Ski from AK Oper Operators Union or whatever, He's like really up on this uh, go no go gauge type shit. So I was like, "Fuck it, let me try it." Uh, it didn't close on the no go gauge, so I was like, "Okay, I guess I guess I'm one of the lucky ones with the RAS 47." Um, but with that being said, now we're going to talk about the carrier. Okay, that should not be like that. Now I noticed that happened probably through the first shit two boxes so it's what like 200 rounds um let me try to get out of picture you gonna focus no you're not gonna focus whatever okay so yeah that shouldn't be like that and i noticed that after the first 200 rounds and i was like oh man that's fucking gonna piss me off a little bit but after i kept on shooting the rifle it just smoothed itself out like, it's weird as hell, but, um, yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. Other than that, I mean, you have wear marks there, wear marks there. I mean, you're going to have wear marks all over the place, but there's no gouging except for right in here. I mean, the bolt in, out, you don't hear getting hung up on anything. So... Call me a fucking re, -re if you want, but so far this rifle has been something I would take in a fucking battle any day, all day. And, uh, yeah, there's absolutely no crazy marks on this. Um, the hammer, um, everything looks good. Yeah, everything looks perfectly fine. Yep. 
So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I lucked out. And then another big part, um, which everyone freaks out about, is this part, which shows where, you know, this part. And everyone's like, oh, you know, your fucking rifle's going to explode. Um, and I, I'm not going to lie to you. I've seen people with the RAS 47 after like 200 rounds, just their whole shit just disintegrate. Like the, the rails, where is it? Yeah. This rail come off this, uh, locking lug fucking just break off, crack off. Um, so I guess I'm one of the lucky ones, but I just wanted to share with you guys my experience on, um, this rifle because I've been shooting it for a long time. Well, not a really long time, but for a, a while now. And I haven't had one malfunction, no nothing other than that stupid ass uh, gouge mark on the bolt carrier. And I just felt like, you know, there you go, stupid ass. Um, and I just felt as though I needed to give my input on it. Because I feel so bad because these rifles get such a shitty name. And I, I guess... Oh, and I dropped that shit out of it. Made the aftermarket dent. Um, so, I don't know. I just felt as though I needed to put my little say in there. And I know Robski has a way bigger following than I do. But, um... Come on, whore. See, off camera, I could put this freaking cover back on no problem but as soon as i get on camera oh uh, it's because i'm doing it right-handed i'm left-handed um yeah i know rob ski definitely has a lot more experience a lot more uh knowledge about these rifles um i love ak's i'm not a very big fan of the ar platform and i was a marine well still am a marine um, yeah, so, I mean, I have an AR right here. Don't laugh at me. It's pink, but it's not mine, so don't hate. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're all right or whatever. It's just as soon as you pick up an AK and you start shooting it, you're probably going to fall in love like that. This 7.62 by 39 round is amazing. Um, I'm not going to turn away from Century Arms at all. Like, if this rifle ever does go to shit, I mean, it's shot a lot. And I only paid, what, 500 and something dollars for this rifle. And it is accurate still. I didn't even need to zero the damn thing. I got it out of the box and it was zeroed perfectly fine up to 100 yards. Um, yeah, everything is perfectly fine with this rifle. She runs perfectly fine. And um, once you shoot this gun, once you shoot an AK, you're going to immediately fall in love. Like you feel as though it's like shooting a nine millimeter and then going to a 45. You feel the power of that 45 and you're like, oh, shit. Yeah, you're going to feel it on this. But all right. So that's my little rant for the day. I like my sentry arms. As soon as this rifle goes to shit, I'm probably going to get a C39 V2. Uh, I'm going to try a milled receiver because this is stamped. So I went the cheap route, but. Like a lot of people say, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So I don't need to unfuck my RAS. So you guys have a good day, and uh, thanks for listening.